Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to kind of talk on uh, why your uh, makeup might be melting off at a short time. Um, we're going to talk about your foundation base, uh, your primer base. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the difference between well, the whole, I'm going to probably do like a three-part series, but today we're going to talk about silicone primers and silicone foundations, and um, that there are there are three different types. There's water-based, there's silicone-based, there's oil-based. Um, this is what kind of got me interested in like my normal educational videos on what's in it and the top five ingredients and this, that, and third. Um, so this is just kind of another thing I've been working on just for myself and I had a friend of mine that was interested in it too and I thought why don't I just make a video so I'm gonna make a video um, it started when I was fed up with my makeup melting off I mean four hours in and my makeup was looking like I used a spray can from the 1970s and it was just it was terrible it was bad um, if you're new here I have uh, PCOS and oh hi my name is Jessica and I have oily skin I have oily hair um, I sweat a lot. I am a big girl and I want to understand everything. I feel like Sid the science kid. If you don't know, my kid's gonna be two and I watch a lot of cartoons. So there's that. Anyway, so uh, I saw a video, gosh, a year or so ago. I can't remember who it was. And um, they said, why your makeup may not be staying on. And um, I was like, okay, so what do they got to say about it, you know? And so she said, um, it could be because the primer and the foundation are not the right base, like water-based, silicone-based, oil-based. And I mean, I already knew that because I had been doing some research. And anyway, that's all she said. That's it. Like, do you paint houses? Do you know the difference in water-based and silicone-based? Do we just come out knowing that? No, like people, you, you got to go in depth a little bit more. So anyway, so I said, well, started Googling more videos of it. And there's nothing, there's nothing really out there that screams information. Like there's one girl that talked about how um, if your, if in your ingredients list, the first ingredient is water, then it's water-based. No, no, water makes things spreadable. Yes, there's, there's water in pretty much anything that's liquid, and it could possibly be water-based, but it's it, the, the, the statement of everything that says water-based at the beginning of it is water -based. That's a wrong statement to make. So anyway, and then another one I saw was, it said if there's cone in the first three ingredients, then it's a silicone base. Well, silicones aren't just silicones. They're also siloxanes. Did, did that do you just know that like there's there are some silicone products that are water soluble um, one of them being dimethiconol that is water soluble um, so it, it, it you need a little bit more information than just a broad spectrum so this is not gonna be like I'm not a chemist I just know what I have researched and what I've learned and what I've read and I'm going to put all of my resources down in the bottom so y'all can see and y'all can um, kind of compare what you think is credible or not. But this is just what I have found out. And also with my reading these things, of course I've tried them to see if they work and how they interact and how long this is and how long that is. So um, there's that. Um, if it says that there's wax in the first three ingredients, then it's supposed to be oil based. Um, that, that's wax. I could see where it could be oil, but that's, that's not 100% true. Um, I started trying, uh, their suggestions and, of, of this person that I was reading, or this person that I was listening to a year ago, and I was trying her suggestions of what she was, you know, saying online and telling some people, and I, it, it was wrong, for me at least. And so I, I had to learn more about the difference of silicone and water and oil and your skin types and which one is better for what. Oh, there's a lot of information. And it's not something that you just start looking at and you can know in a week. I've been working on this for months. Months. I have notebooks. I'm talking notebooks. Ooh. 
anyway, uh, so uh, for this video, uh, like I said, I'm going to show my research that I've done over the last few months, then give my recommendations on what I have found that is to be true as far as oil-based and water-based. And um, if you wish to see more about that, then um, please keep hanging out with me. And um, if you like the video later, please hit the like button and the subscribe button and share it with your friends. And um, we're just going to jump right in. And I'm going to turn my page. Uh, <laughs> Let's turn another page. Okay, so uh, one thing in my research that I will go ahead and say is um, you'll see in a lot of ingredients, like one of the first three is like cephaloxane or cephalo well anyway i can't find it right this a minute but if it ends in h e x a n e that that does not have silicone in it um but siloxane s i l o x a n does have silicone in it because it starts with s i l um so that's a little bit of information as far as when you look at like the top few ingredients um if you see silicone if you see silica because silicone comes from silica or silicon dioxide um anyway it's if you see dimethicone trimethicone phenyl trimethicone it's those those are legit silicones um silicones are best for well i won't say best they are good for oily skin um and the reason that it's for that is to help keep your oils at bay. Now, if you have oily skin and you try to use a bunch of water-based products, it'll work for a short time, but that the premise of water and oil don't mix it is true. So if you use a water-based foundation, you need to use a water-based primer. There's just, there's just no way that you're going to let your makeup last like you want it to. If you don't prep your skin well, moisturize it, and this is especially for dry skin, moisturize, use a water-based primer and a water-based foundation. So moving back over to silicone, what this video is supposed to be about is um, it, it kind of creates a barrier keeping your oils tucked in so they don't start showing through. There's a lot of controversy over it where it clogs pores and it doesn't let your face breathe and yada yada, but that's not completely true. Silicone, um, it, it cannot seep deep into the pores to clog them, but it can be used as a pore filler, like at the top to kind of create a smooth surface. Um, so it, it just, it, the molecules are too big. They can't seep down in there to clog your pores because the molecules, it's, it's just chemically, it can't. Or, or most of them cannot. Um, again, that would go into, we got to go down the ingredients list to find out exactly 100% will this one do this. But we're just kind of, we're brazing the surface, but going maybe one layer in, if that makes sense. Um, let's see, it's really good for acne prone skin. Even the American Academy of Dermatologists has said that some silicone based products can help reduce redness, reduce stinging that comes from cystic acne. Um, it can reduce irritation. It's, I mean, the American Academy of Dermatology has done a lot of tests on this stuff. So that's another one of my resources I'll link below. Um, silicones kind of have a built-in primer. You do want to use a good primer with your silicone-based foundation. Um, but I have learned that if you want to use a silicone based foundation that you need to use a silicone based primer but you can use a water based primer you might be cutting an hour or two off of your wear time but uh, one of the things that I have learned is that if you're going to mix if you're just you're not gonna go out and buy anything which is totally fine you know do what fits you best but to have a water based primer and a silicone based foundation it can work it can but again you're not going to get the longevity of your foundation that way um, what they have found really does not mesh well is if you do a silicone based primer and a water based foundation that really is going to just cake and melt and slide and be icky 
um, and it'll look beautiful when you first apply it. So don't take your first application as this is what it's going to look like all day because it's not. Give it a couple few hours and you're going to be like, this junk has got to come off my face. But anyway, so um, also normally if you see on the um, package where it says like, excuse me, waterproof or 24 hour, like this says 24 hour foundation, um, they're usually going to be silicone based. Uh, Water-based foundations just usually don't last that long. Um, some some silicones in silic in back up. Okay, some silicones can evaporate faster than water. So as far as the tail of it just sitting on your skin and making things not breathe, like I said, it's not 100% accurate because there are so many derivatives. Now, it's almost like taking a piece of two-ply toilet paper and then taking this one piece and peeling it back and then doing it again. Like, those are different. Like, it's just peeling back only the necessities that you need out of the silicone. Um, let me just give you some examples. That's the best way I can do it. Um, a few primers that I have personally tried and used with my silicone-based foundations, and it works well, and I have some longevity and it, it, I agree that they are considered silicone based. I looked at the ingredients list and then I tried them. So this is my personal experience and looking on, like you'll see some more um, stuff down below as far as different links that I've tried. Um, this one girl even created a spreadsheet and I thought, great, this is going to be perfect. And I started reading it and I was like, this isn't right. This isn't right either. Um, but again, I'm not a chemist, but in some forums with some chemists, they were trying to break down the spreadsheet. And I was like, this is not quite right. This is not quite right. This ingredient can't be mixed with that. Anyway, so that's, that's another story. But let's just go into a few primers. I'm going to give you some drugstore and I'm going to give you some high end. So it depends on what you like. So a couple drugstore primers that are silicone based are the Maybelline Baby Skin. And um, I believe I have one. Maybelline Baby Skin. It's right here. Six dollars. Uh, let's see. Do I have another one? Oh, yeah. I, I actually have a bunch of these. Elf Putty Primer. That is silicone based. Some people even say that this can be a dupe for the Tatcha Skin Canvas. I have not tried the Tatcha Skin Canvas, so I cannot say that it is or not. But Nakia Joy has just done a video recently about how this is a dupe for it. And I cannot link that down below, too. Um... Let's see what else. Oh, let's see. Elf Poreless Primer. Do I have that somewhere? How'd that thought? It might be right there. Yep. Elf Poreless Face Primer. There's that one. That is also silicone base. Um, that is also six dollars. Uh, we have. As far as the high end, a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, the original, which would be this white and gray one. This is just a mini. There is one that actually has the word light on it or super light right here. Do not get that confused. That is water-based. This one is silicone-based. This one right here. Right here. Smashbox Photo Finish Oil-Free. Silicone-based. Um, and... When things say oil-free, it does not mean it is silicone-free. Oil and silicone are two very different things. We'll get into that in another video. Um, so another high-end is Benefit Professionals. This is, again, it's a mini, but it's Benefit Professionals. And um, it's it's a great pore filler. It really is, but it, it it's straight silicone. <laughs> All right, so now foundations. Um, I only have one of these listed here um with me but i will post some i'll put a video i mean a picture right here of my other ones here so uh number one is revlon color stay for combo oily skin 24 hours put that up there all right that one is ten dollars um neutrogena shine control liquid that is i'll put that right there that is also ten dollars uh, and these that I'm, I'm telling you, they actually say on their websites that these are 
silicone based or that they're just not water based. Um, so you can check them out if you want to. Um, Makeup Forever HD Foundation, that right here. That is $43, but that is supposed to be a great foundation. I want to try it soon, but I have not yet. Um, uh, another one is L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Um, that, I would be careful, I'll put it right here. Just be careful with that one because like the third ingredient is denature alcohol, which can dry you out. So just be kind of cautious with that. Um, and my, my, my favorite <laughs> is Estee Lauder Double Wear. $42. This is my tried and true. Like, I even have a backup. Like, when, when this one, this is halfway done already. When this one goes, I have a backup. Love that stuff. And, um, there are some situations where you have foundations that can work either way. Like when I talked about, uh, different primers versus different foundations. Now, a while ago, I did say that a water-based primer can work with a silicone based foundation. And one that I can tell you, well actually a couple I can tell you, this one and this one. It does not matter what primer I use with these two right here, they're gonna work and they're gonna last on me as long as I need them to. I may have to blot, but I could wear these suckers for 24 hours and these bad boys are my gems. But if I wear these bad boys for 24 hours, I would probably have some acne. I think I've done, I think I've done this one for 16 hours. I think I've probably done this one for 16 hours too. This is the uh, CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. And this is considered kind of water and silicone. It has silicones in it that are water soluble, but it's still silicone based. Same here. Um, this one, this one's pretty much just silicone based, but there's just something is magic in this little bottle for me. Dry skin, stay away. Do not use if you have dry skin. You are going to hate it. Just PSA. Okay. So this video might have been a little bit everywhere. Um, but that's just because of the day that I'm having. I've got my hair done. Face looking snatched and fresh because I love it. And I'm, I really love this kind of research. So it just gets me excited. When I get excited, I kind of ramble and I talk fast. So sorry. So if there's anything that I did not address in the silicone primers and silicone foundations, please leave me a comment, send me a DM, um, and my Instagram, that's Makeup Indie Shine um, on Instagram and Makeup Indie Shine on Facebook. Um, I am, I love doing stuff like this, so ask me. Let me research some stuff for you. Um, next week, we'll probably try to do water-based primers and water-based foundations. I may even do the oil-based in it with it only because the oil-based is such, it's so rare. It's a small amount of information and I would hate to just make a video for five minutes talking about that when this one is clearly longer than that. Anyway, so thanks for hanging out with me guys.